Hey guys, welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make three pecan candy recipes. Now, all of these are new to my channel, so I wanted to try something a little bit different for the Christmas season. All right, let's get started. So this is all of my candy ingredients that I have lined out here on my kitchen counter. Y'all, I am ready. It is the week of Christmas and this is the perfect time to go ahead and start making your Christmas candies because it's not going to stick too long. It's going to get eaten up and people are always, especially my grandkids, ready to eat the candy the week during Christmas. Okay, I have all different times of kinds of nuts here. I have walnuts, macadamia nuts, pecans. I have coconut. I'm going to make some coconut macaroons that are dipped in chocolate. I have candy canes to make my um, Christmas uh, Christmas peppermint bark. Then I have the Ritz. Y'all, I haven't made this in a long time, but I'm going to make the Ritz peanut butter sandwiches, and I'm going to use crunchy and creamy peanut butter this time. That's where you soak or you coat the cookies in the white chocolate, y'all, or the almond bark. Then, of course, I'm gonna make some Christmas crack with this crackers back here. And I've made it with the Ritz, too. So I'm gonna make two different kinds of Christmas crack. I'm gonna do something with these Oreos. I don't know what yet. Um, it does go into my Reese's Cup cheesecake, the crust, but I'm gonna make something else with that too. Saw something really neat that I might wanna try out and it includes the crushed um, Oreo cookies and cream cheese. You make a ball out of them, okay? And then you dip those in chocolate too. Now, oh my goodness, y'all have so much good stuff to do. And I, go, I am going to finish up a video that the kids started for oatmeal cookies, oatmeal raisin. So <laughs> we're gonna be doing that too. Not all of this is gonna be on one video. I'm gonna try to put at least two recipes per video over the next few days during this week. That way you won't get um, bombarded with a whole bunch of stuff on every video. The first recipe that we're gonna start with today is my pecan pralines. Now, what we're gonna be using is three cups of rough chopped pecans, a cup and a half of brown sugar, one cup of whole milk, 12 tablespoons of butter, and I'm using Irish butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and this is what I made myself this year. And we're gonna put everything together and let it come to a boil. We've already started boiling. And what we're gonna do is just move everything around to make sure that our butter is melted and the sugar is dissolved. Now this is a thick pan, um, a saucepan that I bought from Sam's. And what you wanna do is remove any of those dark pecans out because sometimes it can make the, uh, whatever you're having, it has a little bitter taste to it. So we're gonna move the ugly pieces out because we don't want nothing in this candy to be bitter. Okay, so as I was saying, you want to let this continue to melt. And it's just something about the butter and the brown sugar that always, always gonna make everything so good. Okay, I think the butter is melted, so we're gonna let it come to a boil. Now we're gonna turn this down to medium. because we don't want it to burn, but we need it to get to where it needs to be. I have my burner on medium heat, and at this point, we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for three minutes. It's already starting to thicken a little bit, you see that? Now the pralines have cooked for the three minutes. We're gonna remove it from the eye and stir it for two minutes.
this is how my pralines turned out. Now, I'm gonna be totally transparent with you. When I cooked them, uh, when I put them on the parchment paper, they did not set. So, <laughs> I took them back out. I put them back in the pan. I put them back in a frying pan and I heated them back up to the bubbly stage and I let them cook for five more minutes. Then I lost some of my, um, some of the praline, what you call it, the praline candy, but it did cook down and they were able to sit and now they are firm. Okay, so it's a different kind of candy. I don't know if I should even call them pralines now, but um, they're still pecans and they're good. They just don't have a whole bunch of the candy on them like they normally would for pralines. But all of them are hard. All of them are delicious. And to tell you the truth, they have a really good consistency to them too. Now we are getting ready to make our candied pecans. We're gonna be using two whole cups of pecans, and I try to use the big, fat, pretty ones. Four tablespoons of butter. Let's go ahead and put that in the pan so I can start melting. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Three tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of white sugar and a pinch of salt. So what we're gonna do is let the butter melt first and then we're gonna add the pecans and toss them and then we're gonna add everything else in there together. All right, now we're going to toss in the pecans. Another ugly one. Now we're going to toss these pecans until they're coated with the butter. We have them on pretty good high, so let's turn them to about eight. The burner is on about eight. Now that they're coated, we're going to just add in the sugar and the cinnamon. and a pinch of salt. Now we're just gonna cook this until the sugar is completely dissolved. Don't walk off because you don't want it to burn at this point. All right, we're gonna give it a final stir. And we see that glaze at the bottom of the pan where the brown sugar has dissolved and the white sugar. See that glaze that's formed? Now we're gonna set it to the side so that it can cool. And then we're gonna pour it on the parchment paper. And let's pour it. Gonna spread it out.
Now for my last recipe. I'm going to take one egg white. So I'm gonna separate the yolk from the white. Okay, I need one tablespoon of water. and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now what I'm gonna do is mix this together until it's frothy. Okay, that's good. Now we don't want it to be um, like a meringue or anything like that. I'm gonna put that to the side right quickly and I'm gonna take my scale and I'm gonna measure out one cup of pecans. Now I'm going to zero it out. One pound of pecans, sorry. one pound to take a little bit out and we want to use whole pecans with this recipe and then we're going to pour it in here and we're going to toss it to get the pecans coated with the egg white mixture and the water Okay, now we're gonna take the, the sugar. This is the white sugar. That's one cup of white sugar, half of a teaspoon of salt, and now since I used my one teaspoon cinnamon to make something, to measure the wet vanilla, I just use this half of a teaspoon twice. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this together. And we're going to toss it with the pecans. Okay. The purpose of the egg whites is because it helps the sugar mixture stick to the pecans better. Okay, so we're gonna spread it on the cookie sheet. And once we get it on here, we're gonna spread them out. So they kinda can be as flat as possible. We're gonna cook this for one hour at 250 degrees. Now we're gonna stir it every 15 minutes during the cooking time. I got these um, pecans from Sam's the other day and I'm gonna tell you, I've never got a bag from Sam's before and they look this, uh, had that many dark pieces in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in the oven and we wanna turn it or stir it every 15 minutes. This is what it looks like in the oven and we'll be back in 15 minutes. The first 15 minutes are up and what I'm gonna do is just like that there. I'm gonna just turn them over. Right now I'm gonna pop them back in the oven. This is my third turn. And as you can see, the, can the sugar is hardened, but we got one more time to put in here 
and these things look like something that you get out of a specialty shop. I hope they taste as good as they look because, oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. And this is one pound of pecans. Okay, so I moved them around. I'm gonna put them back in the oven for the last 15 minutes and that's gonna be one hour. Then we're gonna let them cool and I'm gonna let my little taste subjects over there taste all the pecans that I've made today. And there are three different recipes in this and I'm, I, I think this is gonna be my favorite. These are fresh out of the oven. We're gonna let them cool for about 15 minutes so that we can taste them. Ooh. Okay, y'all, I got my little test subjects down here. This is my laboratory, okay? They're gonna let me know what's good, what I need to make more of, and what I need to just stop, okay? Okay, let's first, let's pray, because we can ready to eat something. God is great, God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By our hands we shall be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Amen. Okay, first we're gonna start down here on this side. This is the candy pecans. This is one recipe. Uh, the first recipe that I tried. Y'all taste it and see what it tastes like. Go ahead, they didn't, they didn't like it too hot. I didn't either. Uh, because to me it doesn't have enough candy on it. But it's something that if you don't like a real sweet pecan, you may like it, like it. So I'm gonna include it with this video. Trust me, you like it? You like it? Okay. I think it, I probably should have um, increased or doubled the amount of sugar and brown sugar that I put in it. Then it would have been a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, they can see you, honey. Yeah, I made sure of it. You tall as you can be, but they can still see you though. Okay, I adjusted it a little bit. No, you don't have to do that. Stand up. Okay. Okay, the next one is what was supposed to be the praline, okay, pecan praline. That one I had to go in there and cook a little bit more. Um, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, just, just I'll put that back in there, Kylie. Y'all just taste that one because that's a lot in that one tin. Now, that's an old, uh, those are my Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's the oil that came, came through because I cooked it some more. So, some of the oil, the butter rendered out. But they are good and firm. It tastes like a candied pecan, too. The pecan is that's all. How does it taste? Mm. Like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Did y'all can tell me how? What about the first one? Did you mm. like the first one? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and finish eating that. You like that? Good. I'm glad. Kinda. It tastes like a really good. This one good, needs more sugar. Yeah, I know that does. That's not sweet enough. But everybody doesn't like their candy. Their pecans real sweet. So somebody might like that recipe. You got another recipe to do. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like fudge. It okay. tastes like it too. Okay. Okay, so y'all can share that one. Y'all can get. Yeah, I don't. I don't want y'all to get a whole one because you'll mess over it. Okay. Y'all just share that one right, right now. Okay, so let's try the third batch. This Later. is the third uh, recipe that I tried today, and none of these are anything that I've ever cooked before. So I've just, just these are brand new recipes for me. That I wanted to try for you guys, cause I didn't want to do the same thing over Let and over. Cool off hot. I didn't want to oh, do the hot. same thing over and over. Is it still warm? Still hot? What does it taste like? Um, Give me one, cause I haven't tasted those. Who? I don't. I don't know. Mm -mm. It's giving mm -hmm. mixed emotions. Mm -hmm. That one is exactly like the kind you buy from the mall. Mm. I promise you. Well, you can get those at a nut shop. A nut shop. I Back in the day, know. they used to have a nut shop at Westgate Mall, a candy shop, and they used to sell those. And sometimes, if you go, like when we go to Tennessee, when we get the fudge and the pralines and stuff, mm -hmm. they have those candy pecans in there. Just the, they these? have the sweet um, peanuts at Charlotte Mall. What was on? Yeah, yes, yeah, they do. What's on that? Mm -hmm. It's actually white sugar, egg white. You put the egg, it's cooked. That's why I stuck to it like that. Okay, you you, you mix your egg white and your water and your uh, vanilla so it gets foamy. Then you coat them with it. Then you mix the sugar and the uh, cinnamon and something else, a little bit of salt. 
on there. And that's why it sticks to it like that. That's why it has that consistency or the texture. This is my so I'm trying to think, which one is my favorite? Which one is your favorite, Layla? The middle this one? one. And yeah. middle is a little bit of this Metal one. Middle and this one. I think this one on the end is my favorite right here. This one, okay. this too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, well I'm glad y'all like them. I'm glad they wasn't I'm glad it wasn't a total bust because when those pralines didn't set up, I thought I was done for. Okay, so this is gonna end this video because I don't want this talking part to be too long. This is the first video. It's, it's Monday. Um, I'm gonna upload this video tonight. And then tomorrow I will do my white chocolate candies and I'm gonna do mm. peppermint bark, the peanut butter sandwiches, mm -hmm. and the potato chip candy, the mystery candy. So it's gonna be three recipes tomorrow in tomorrow's video. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay guys, um, this, in, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks Bye. and God bless. Bye. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.